In this video, we're going to talk about solving certain exponential equations. And uh, I want to emphasize that the techniques we're going to talk about today don't work for every exponential equation, but when they do work, they are uh, quite uh, nice and a uh, quick way to solve certain equations. So let's take a look at our first equation in this uh, form. So notice I've got the equation 3 to the x equals 27. Now I can rewrite this as 3 to the x equals 3 cubed. I happen to know that 27 is 3 cubed and in fact that actually lets me jump straight to the answer. But what I want to emphasize here is that if I can write uh, both sides of an equation as the same positive base to exponents, then I can set the exponents equal to each other. So since 3 to the x equals 3 to the 3, x must equal 3. <clears throat> Let's look at another one that's not quite so obvious. If I have uh, 9 to the x equals 27, I can rewrite both sides as 3 to the something. Again, 27 is 3 cubed. This as 3 squared to the x. Now, uh, one of our exponent rules is that when I'm raising something in exponential notation to another exponent, I multiply the exponents together. So that gives me 3 to the 2x equals 3 to the 3. So I get 2x equals 3, and so x is equal to 3 halves. So the rule that I'm using here is if b to the m equals b to the n, and b is a positive number, then m equals n. <clears throat> so let's, let's do another. So if I have this, then I can conclude that. Uh, actually, and if I have that, as long as b is po a positive number, I can conclude that b to the m equals b to the n. Uh, however, we are using it in the direction that I've written it this uh, way. If b to the m equals b to the n, then m is equal to n. The exponents have to be equal. <clears throat> so let's do these one at a time. So now 125 um, is uh, 5 times 5 is 25 times another 5 is 125. So this is 5 cubed, which means 125 to the x is 5 to the 3x. Now that's equal to 5. Notice I don't have an explicit exponent written, but uh, <clears throat> anytime I just have a number, I can always write that as 5 to the 1, or that number, to the 1, in order to have an explicit ex exponent that I can now set equal to the 3x. So I get 3x equals 1, and so x is equal to 1 third. <clears throat> Notice that in our reading of our useful rules, it uh, did say that fractional exponents are the same as roots. A fraction of a fractional exponent of one third is the same as taking the cube root of something. The cube root of one twenty five is five. I know that because five cubed is one twenty five. Just pointing out that relationship. <clears throat> now I have one that's a little more complicated. So I just need to be able to write the both sides as the same base to something. I can, for the numbers 8 and 32, I can write them both as 2 to the something. 8 is 2 cubed, 
so I get 2 times 3, or sorry, 2 to the 3 times the original exponent of x plus 1. 2 to the 5th is equal to 32, so this is 2 to the 5th plus x times x plus 2. So now, if you want, you can distribute at this step, but I'm just going to set my exponents equal to each other, and I'm going to distribute now <clears throat> so I have a negative 2x is equal to 7, so x is equal to negative 7 halves. Let's do another one. <clears throat> Remember that e is that number that's approximately 2.7. You will need to remember that e is approximately 2.7. Um, and my first step, I'm going to remember something in exponential notation raised to another exponent. I multiply the exponents together. Now I can set my exponents equal to each other. And um, I can subtract the 4x over here, divide by a negative 2, and x is equal to a positive 3 halves. And oftentimes people just feel more comfortable when I have the x on the left hand side. Let's do another one. So notice here I have a fraction. This is a little harder to tell what to do with it. Now I do notice that uh, 121 is 11 squared. So I might start out and 49 is 7 squared. So that's definitely equal to that right hand side. <clears throat> and then one of our exponent rules says that um, if I'm raising the top and bottom of a fraction to a power, that's the same as raising the entire fraction to that power. But notice I still don't have the exact same fraction. They're very closely related though. They are reciprocals of each other. And remember that a negative exponent tells me to take the reciprocal. So if I want to take the reciprocal of this left hand, sorry, of this right hand side, I can change this 2 into a negative 2. That means I need to take the reciprocal of the inside and then I have the same base as on the left hand side. I have 7 elevenths to the x equals 7 elevenths to the negative 2 and so x is equal to negative 2. Just a couple more. So now we want to rewrite both things in here as the same base to an exponent. But here I have a root. But remember, as we had in our reading, um, a root, this in, case, in this case, this is the square root, is the same as a fractional exponent where the type of root you're taking is the denominator of the fraction. So this is a square root, which means my denominator is 2, and I don't have an explicit exponent to this 3, so that's really a 3 to the 1, which means the square root of 3 is equal to 3 to the 1 half. Now that's just what the square root of 3 is, so that's being raised to the x. Over here, of course, we know that 9 is equal to 3 squared. 
<clears throat> and now, actually, that's one more step. I really should write this as 3 to the 1 half x equals 3 squared. So 1 half x equals 2. I can multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of this 1 half, and I end up with x equals 4. And finally, my last example, I need to write this side, this is fine with my 10 to the x, I need to write this as 10 to the something. And again, we're going to use that rule about our roots being related to fractional exponents. Here this 10 does have an exponent to it, so this will be the numerator of my fraction, this 3. This is a fourth root, and so the, the denominator of my exponent will be 4. So that gives me 10 to the 3 fourths on the right side. And of course I had 10 to the x on the left side. And now I get to set my exponents equal to each other. And I end up with x equals 3 fourths. So that <clears throat> was a nice way to solve certain exponential equations. Some equations you just won't be able to write uh, in uh, both sides as the same base to an exponent. For that, we we're going to need logarithms, which we will introduce in our next uh, learning module.